Yo, what's up everybody? It's Mizan. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving headfirst into the beautiful island of Koh Samui, a place that holds a special place in my heart. We're talking turquoise waters, white sand beaches, lush jungles, paradise, right? But hold up, before you book that one-way ticket, there are some things you gotta know. We're about to get real about the top five mistakes people make when they first experience Koh Samui. Trust me, learning from my mishaps is way better than repeating them. Let's go. All right, first up, let's talk transportation. You land at Koh Samui Airport, you're stoked to hit the beach, I get it. But don't jump into just any taxi. See, in Samui, you've got two main options. Metered taxis, which are pretty straightforward, and songthus, these open-air trucks with benches in the back. Now, metered taxis are supposed to be the standard, but here's the catch. Some drivers might forget to turn the meter on, hoping to overcharge you. Always, and I mean always, make sure that meter's running before you even think about putting your bag in the trunk. If the driver gives you any pushback, just walk away. There are plenty of other taxis, trust me. It's not just about the money, it's about setting the tone for your trip. You want to start your vacation on a good note, not feeling like you've been taken advantage of right off the bat. Now, Song Thaos, they're more like shared taxis, and they run on fixed routes. Think of it like a local bus system. These are super convenient for short distances, and they usually cost a flat fare depending on the distance. But again, be careful. Some drivers might try to inflate the price for tourists. Do your research, ask a local, or check online forums to get an idea of the standard fare. Don't be afraid to negotiate a bit. But if a driver seems shady or insists on an unreasonable price, just walk away. It's better to be safe than sorry. Another tip is to have small bills and change ready. Drivers might claim they don't have change for larger bills, which can be another way to overcharge you. Also, if you're traveling with friends or family, consider splitting the cost of a private taxi. It might end up being more economical and comfortable than taking multiple song theos. Lastly, always have a map or GPS handy. Some drivers might take longer routes to increase the fare. Knowing your route can help you avoid this. And remember, a little bit of preparation can go a long way in ensuring you have a smooth and enjoyable trip. So, keep these tips in mind, and you'll be well on your way to having a fantastic time in Koh Samui. Safe travels. Okay, real talk. The roads in Koh Samui are not for the faint of heart. If you think you can handle it, think again. I'm talking steep hills, blind corners and drivers who seem to operate on a whole different set of traffic laws. It's like a roller coaster, but without the safety harness. Look, I'm all for adventure, but when it comes to driving in Koh Samui, I'm going to be straight up. Unless you're an experienced driver with nerves of steel, just don't do it. Seriously. The roads here are not just challenging, they're downright treacherous. The risks far outweigh the convenience. Imagine navigating through narrow lanes with sudden drops and unexpected turns. It's not just about your driving skills. It's about anticipating the unexpected. If you absolutely have to drive, be extra cautious. Double check everything and always be on high alert. Stick to the speed limits, and I mean actually stick to them. Speeding here is a recipe for disaster. Be prepared for anything. People pulling out of nowhere, sudden stops, and unpredictable maneuvers dogs sleeping in the middle of the road, chickens crossing without a care in the world, you name it. The roads are shared by everyone and everything. And whatever you do, don't drive at night if you can avoid it. The darkness adds another layer of danger. The roads are poorly lit and visibility is even worse. Potholes and obstacles become invisible hazards. Trust me, it's not worth the risk. One wrong move and you could find yourself in a very precarious situation. Do yourself a favor and rent a scooter instead. It's a much safer and more practical option. It's way cheaper, easier to navigate, and let's be real, it's all part of the Koh Samui experience, right? Plus, you get to enjoy the scenic views and the wind in your hair. It's the perfect way to explore the island without the stress of driving a car. You can easily park your scooter near local markets, beaches, and other attractions. It's convenient and adds to the adventure. Plus, you'll have more opportunities to interact with locals and truly immerse yourself in the culture. So ditch the car, hop on a scooter, and enjoy everything Koh Samui has to offer. You're walking along the beach, the sun is shining, the water is calling your name, and suddenly you see it. 
rows of shiny jet skis just begging to be taken out for a spin. Hold up, my friend. Don't let the excitement cloud your judgment. It's easy to get swept up in the thrill of the moment, but a little caution can save you a lot of trouble. Local resident. Here's the deal. Some, not all, but some jet ski rental companies are notorious for pulling this scam where they'll claim you damaged the jet ski even if you didn't. They'll show you some pre-existing scratches, insist it's your fault, and then demand a ridiculous amount of money for repairs. This can turn what should be a fun day on the water into a stressful and expensive ordeal. Local resident. So, here's the play. If you absolutely must rent a jet ski, and I mean absolutely must, do your due diligence. Choose a reputable company, read reviews, ask around. And here's the most important part. Before you even get on that jet ski, inspect it thoroughly. And I mean every inch of it. Take pictures, shoot videos, document any existing damage. And don't be afraid to point it out to the rental company. It's better to be safe than sorry. Make sure you have a clear record of the jet ski's condition before you take it out. This way, you have evidence to protect yourself if they try to blame you for pre-existing damage. Local resident. But honestly, the best way to avoid this scam altogether is to just skip the jet ski rental altogether. There are plenty of other ways to enjoy the water in Koh Samui. Trust me. You can go snorkeling and explore the vibrant underwater world or simply relax on the beach with a good book. There are also other water sports like paddleboarding or kayaking that can be just as thrilling without the risk of getting scammed. The island offers so many beautiful and exciting activities that you won't even miss the jet ski. So take a deep breath, soak in the beauty of your surroundings and choose an adventure that won't leave you feeling soaked in regret. All right, let's talk about Koh Samui after dark. Look, Koh Samui is generally a safe place, but like any tourist destination, it's always better to be safe than sorry, especially at night. Nightlife enthusiast, First things first, don't be flashing your cash around. Keep a low profile and only carry the essentials with you. Leave the expensive jewellery and watches back at the hotel. Trust me, you won't need them. Second, be mindful of your surroundings. Stick to well-lit areas and avoid walking alone in deserted streets, especially at night. If you're going out to party, let someone know where you're going and when you expect to be back. And remember, alcohol can impair your judgement, so pace yourself and stay hydrated. Nightlife enthusiast. And finally, if you do find yourself in a situation where you feel uncomfortable or unsafe, don't try to be a hero, just walk away. There's no shame in removing yourself from a potentially bad situation. Remember, your safety is paramount. All right, last but not least, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the mosquito in the bungalow, bugs. Look. Koh Samui is a tropical paradise, and with that comes a whole lot of creepy crawlies. We're talking mosquitoes, ants, spiders, geckos, you name it. Now don't let this freak you out, but it's important to be prepared. First things first, pack insect repellent. And I'm not talking about that weak stuff. Get yourself some heavy duty, DEET infused repellent and apply it liberally, especially during dawn and dusk when mosquitoes are most active. Second, keep your living space clean and free of food scraps. This will help deter ants and other unwanted guests. Third, always check your shoes before putting them on. You never know what might have crawled in there overnight. And finally, if you're prone to bug bites, consider packing some antihistamines or hydrocortisone cream to soothe those itchy bites. Remember, a little preparation goes a long way. So there you have it, guys. Five mistakes to avoid on your first trip to Koh Samui. Look, I'm not trying to scare you off. Koh Samui is an incredible destination with so much to offer. But like any place, it's important to be informed and prepared. By being aware of these common pitfalls, you can avoid unnecessary stress and make the most of your trip. Remember, knowledge is power. Do your research, ask questions, and don't be afraid to be a little cautious. The more you know, the better prepared you'll be to handle whatever Koh Samui throws your way. And trust me, when you're sipping on a fresh coconut on the beach, watching the sunset over the Gulf of Thailand, you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more travel tips and guides. Safe travels.